Hey there, this is the one boom, and change can be really hard, especially in the video game industry. I mean, we've all sort of caught on to the tricks and tropes of video games by this point. They're not really novel anymore. I mean, we can all look at these two things and tell the difference. I think this one is the movie. And when it comes to video games, the Far Cry franchise is well known for doing very little to change its formula since Far Cry 3. Other video games have been criticized as such, but I mean, what else are you going to do with soccer? Yeah, Sims games are like Sims games, COD games are like COD games, Mortal Kombat games are like Mortal Kombat games, and Nintendo keeps releasing games with Mario in them, please, they need to be stopped. So let's see if Far Cry's newest iteration is worth full price or any price at all. Let's get right into the complaining. Far Cry and I have an interesting relationship. I enjoy playing every game, I just never beat them. Yeah, they always have interesting worlds and characters, cool stories, fun gunplay, but then I just end up getting bored about halfway through. Now this is more of an initial review, I don't really know what my opinion will be later down the line, or if I'm ever going to finish reviewing this, I mean I still haven't put up my full review of Avengers yet, and that game's been out for a year. Like yeah, I'm gonna stream this game and play it for a while, but I don't really know if it's gonna warrant two videos, I mean it's Far Cry, you kinda know what you're getting into at this point. And first impressions are everything, and Far Cry 6's first impression it left on me was that they didn't really know how to open up the game, so they gave it the most generic story opening they could have. It's rushed, unpolished, contrived, and it just serves to bring your character to a point where they want to kill anybody wearing a white shirt. Oh jeez, I hope I'm safe. Nothing about the opening blows you away, it doesn't show you any new mechanics, it doesn't show you anything that's cool about itself. Other than the fact that the cutscenes are in third person, you get to pick your character's gender, and even though you get to pick their gender, they're both fully voice acted, which is awesome. But uh, other than that, there's nothing gameplay related that they show you in this opening section that you haven't seen in a million gazillion other video games. Having Danny as a character that just wants to leave and go to America? To have his opinion suddenly changed by the untimely death of two of his friends? I feel like this game could have started you with a gun in your hand as the opening cutscene with you just being a guerrilla fighter, and I would have liked that way more. This whole opening is so rushed, and I just really hate openings like this in movies or TV shows. It's like, I don't want to be a hero, I don't want to help out, I don't want to be the protagonist, I'm trying to leave. Fuck a steal! Okay, fine, I'll do it. Pointless contrived story elements aside, I actually really like the technical performance, the way the game feels to move around and shoot enemies in. It's very tight, and on the Xbox Series X, it's very smooth and beautiful to look at. I mean, visually, this game has the best nighttime out of any Far Cry I've played. It just looks so atmospheric, it looks so good. This game feels anything but last gen, except in a couple cases, we'll get to that later. And when it comes to the shooting, we'll get to that later. And when it comes to the FOV slider, there isn't one. Yeah, for a game called Far Cry, why is the camera anything but? It really feels like my eyeballs are right next to my weapon at all times. The weapon models are so big and the FOV is so cramped. Hopefully, with FOV sliders being more commonplace among most games, we will see FOV sliders in Far Cry games. But until then, this game's kind of disappointing in that area. But there's something else I needed to talk about. What the hell was it? Guns! Oh yeah, that's right. I'm reviewing a first-person shooter. How does it feel to shoot people? Feels pretty good. Uh, the only issue I have is that standard ammunition sucks ass. Like getting hit markers to the head in a Far Cry game while using a sniper rifle doesn't feel right. Wanting me to use the right ammo type for the right target means I feel like I constantly am using the wrong gun for the wrong target just all the time. One thing that I would love from the Far Cry franchise is just better bullet mechanics, just more interesting gunplay. If I shoot someone in the arm, they drop their gun, shoot them in the leg, trips them, stuff like that. The formula doesn't have to change in Far Cry in my opinion, I just think there needs to be those small improvements to make the games more interesting, and it's really just breaking the immersion to headshot somebody and get a hit marker because you didn't have the right ammo type. And then you pull out some special golden pistol you found in a box and it one-shot headshots everybody. It, that stupid little level of RPG mechanic bullshit, I, I just don't like, don't like it anywhere, don't like it here. I mean, it's not a big deal, just go get the right ammo types, just get gunpowder from, you know, supply caches and forts, and then you take it and go build the right ammo type for your sniper rifle so it doesn't headshot hit marker people. Like, this scene is a lot less badass when you realize she's only fearless right now because she knows I have the wrong ammo type in the gun. Okay, fine, it's whatever. I just wish it wasn't here. Again, it's not a huge detraction from the game, it doesn't destroy the game, but so far from what I've played, it's my biggest irritation. Oh wait, no it's not. My biggest irritation is that the AI has not improved at all. 
Like, honest to god, I don't have any specific footage of this, it's just the entire game, you can tell. NPCs and their behaviors are incredibly dated. I talked about this in my Far Cry 5 review a long time ago, that it felt like Elder Scrolls Oblivion level of NPC behavior. It's very stupid. And when I say it, I mean the software. I'm not just trying to summarize my point by saying it's stupid. I'm saying, like, if you see an NPC, it's, it's probably dumb. Yeah. Oh, that's why you didn't immediately blow up when I was shooting at you with a helicopter. That's not a gas tank. My dumbass. That dude's on fire. Dude, get out of there, you're gonna burn alive. <laughs> Far Cry 6 has everything I would want from a Far Cry game, except for any of the improvements I would want to the Far Cry formula. I would hope that gunplay feels drastically better. I would hope that AIs are just better to fight. NPCs would just be less stupid and more immersive. But you don't get that here. It's unpolished to the point of it being funny, but I don't think Far Cry's main selling point is that it's so unpolished and so not improved over the years that it's comical. Yes, it's funny when the AIs do stupid things, but I don't play a game to laugh at how poorly the game was programmed. I'm just not that kind of guy. Like, if I'm in the mood to laugh at a stupid video game, yeah, it could be kind of fun, but if I'm in the mood to be immersed in a beautiful, dynamic, open world, then all the NPCs in this game are going to do is detract from that. And on top of the NPC behaviors being really, really, really dumb and outdated, the constant respawning of enemies feels just overbearing to say the least. Like, they just constantly respawn. There's no sense of permanency when killing enemies, and while I don't want to drain the map of everything that makes it interesting like you can in Far Cry 5, I just feel like if I kill two guards, they shouldn't respawn until I fast travel at least. Far Cry could be something more than funny open world chaos. I think that's why a lot of us were excited for something like Cyberpunk 2077. It's because we wanted an open world shooter, kinda like a Far Cry, that's way more meaningful and deep, and has choices that really, really matter. People wanted an immersive, dynamic world full of NPCs that felt like real people, and what they got was a crappy, broken, unpolished action game that I believe is even less interesting to play than a Far Cry game, because at least Far Cry lets you have crazy fun, whereas Cyberpunk let me have a crazy migraine. I don't think that counts, though. It sucks when you see a really skilled group of developers have a complete lack of inspiration. This is a quality AAA game, don't get me wrong. I'm critiquing the game because that's sort of my role here, but I do think the game is solid. It's a good AAA game. It just doesn't blow my mind at all. There's nothing inspired about what I've played so far. It's just more Far Cry. Far Cry 6 does something really smart though. They got rid of the skill trees and instead you have to find gear to give yourself certain abilities, like certain parkour abilities, or scavenging abilities, or combat abilities. Things like storing extra ammo, or being able to sprint longer at full speed. Things like that are tied to pieces of equipment you have to go out and find in the world. This promotes exploration, and it's the same thing for these specialty weapons. The specialty weapons that you can find are in forts and in bases and hidden around the map, so if you want special guns, you have to go out and find special guns. This Far Cry game has a massive map, so I'm glad that it's prioritizing exploration over just grinding. So, good. Quality choice, Ubisoft. I will say, I like that. Far Cry 6, being more Far Cry, is not a surprise. Like, it's obviously a part of the Far Cry franchise, and you would buy it for that Far Cry experience, but that experience not being improved is what makes me sad. Like, you ever wonder why people got really excited about Modern Warfare 2019? It was just the Call of Duty formula, the Call of Duty style of gameplay, but with just a level of polish, a level of fidelity, and some new gimmicks. Opening and closing doors, gunsmith, firing pistols from a ladder, little things like that make a big difference. I don't think fans of a franchise need drastic changes, but they don't mind improvements, they don't mind little bits of flavor, and the problem with Far Cry 6 here well, there's some creative weapons, and it's always fun to meet new characters, and it's always fun to explore the areas for the first time. Nothing about it has that little extra bit of flavor that 
improves the formula or the feel of playing the game. Yes, graphically this game is very pretty, but does it blow my mind? Not really. Yeah, the gunplay is good, but is it drastically better than 5 or New Dawn or 4? No. I'm glad I have a voiced protagonist, but that's something that should have never left in the first place, so I'm glad it's back, but it's not a reason to shell out $60. You buy Far Cry 6 at $60 because you desperately want to see your favorite actor, or you desperately want a new Far Cry open world game. And here is my major criticism, here is the review ending statement for my initial review of the game. If you have another Far Cry game in your backlog, go play that because they're kind of interchangeable. If you're thinking, I want a new Far Cry experience but I haven't beat 3, go beat 3. Go play 4, go play 5, buy New Dawn for God's sake. Play those games until 6 goes on sale and then pick that one up if you are really just not getting your Far Cry fix. I mean with multiplayer games you can sort of justify buying a new one every year, like Call of Duty is kind of that way for me, like yeah, Advanced Warfare in my opinion is much better than Black Ops Cold War. I can't recommend it though if you're buying it for the multiplayer because nobody's online. I gotta be careful, my credibility juice is running dangerously low. So that's just not a good experience to have horrible connection quality in the lobbies you do find if you can even find any. So you gotta keep up with the seasons of Call of Duty. And hot take, there are more differences between each Call of Duty game than each Far Cry game as far as I'm concerned, especially since Far Cry 3. Did the level move? Yeah, you don't have to climb radio towers anymore, but you're still playing Far Cry. Far Cry 6 is undeniably Far Cry. But if you have another Far Cry game in your backlog that you have never played, buy that one. It's probably cheaper, and you could beat it and get your Far Cry fix, and then a while later when Far Cry 6 is on sale, pick up that one. You'll save money, you'll have more games to play, and you will get the Far Cry experience. I don't think you would miss out by playing 3 over 6, or 5 over New Dawn. I don't think you're gonna miss out on much. Well, that wraps up my first impressions. Let me quickly check and make sure I still have- damn it.